Hi, I'm the Free American Thinker, and I wanted to talk to you a bit today about something that can be a tough subject, but is worth mentioning because it's all something we think about and have to deal with, which is that uh, life on this planet, on this earth plane, uh, can be very painful. And I wanted to discuss why, or A, one of the reasons why um, it can be very painful for almost anyone at any time. And when we think about pain, you know, uh, the Buddhist thinking uh, or one of the religious practices in Buddhism is that pain comes from attachment, attachment to the world. That's true. Um, when I think of pain, I think of separation or loneliness or things being torn apart or being separated when they are trying to be together. There's a lot of ways to describe pain, physical pain, spiritual pains, pain of just day-to-day -day life can be very stressful. Um, relationships with people can work or not work, and that can be very painful. And I wanted to discuss where potentially some of that pain comes from, at least in this experience, uh, in our, 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 you know, us as spiritual beings experiencing this earthly body. And one of the ways that I think about it is if we were to think of us as souls, spirits let's say in the afterlife or the before life however you want to talk about it or the astral field the when when you are existing as a spirit that's not on this planet <laughs> okay in incarnation what i think of and, and this is just a perspective is a view is all of our souls are all together hanging out partying or celebrating singing whatever we're doing we are in an infinite place of time and space where <laughs> this guy dropped off <laughs> He went to a planet for a little bit. <laughs> He's back. <laughs> but, you know, we, I think about us, uh, you know, being able to experience and being infinitely connected and experiencing each other's perspectives infinitely uh, through all of time and space because there are no constraints. Maybe that's part of the reason why they say there's no pain after death. That's one of the, one of the main uh, benefits of being in heaven. So there is no pain. Well, it's an interesting subject. But what happens when we fall apart? from each other and we go, hmm, I'm gonna go experience life. How can we represent that? Well, what we do is we incarnate in our bodies into this dense field and we are forced to live our lives, although we choose it, but we are put in a position to have to make the best of the what we have in our experience on this planet, in this life. And a way for me to describe uh, that type of experience of coming to the, your body I think in entering this, this dense plane is I'm gonna use my friend, Mr. Plant. <laughs> He's my friend here. This is a plant that I like. He's a good guy. And how I think of the earth plane is kind of the soil here that the plant is residing in. When the soul enters the body, it goes, sticks into the earth. Another guy comes in. Another guy comes in or a woman. Well, who knows, you might be a man in this lifetime and a woman in the next, vice versa. As you can see, when these souls stick into their body, they are what? Now separated. They have been dispersed. There's a diffusion, really. It's not that different than light scattering when it hits uh, water or, or a medium. And it gets stuck in this plane. Now you could say, well, this guy might be able to move around the soil if you push really hard and drag it through. Say he takes a, an airplane trip, you know, to Florida to see his friends. Maybe they get temporarily closer to each other, but in no way are they ever gonna be like they were before, right? And really until they, you know, pass away and leave this dense plane again, Will they ever be connected and together in the same or similar way? The pain that we feel is the separation of that. And we know there's a better way to experience each other's presence. But at the same time, this earth is an experience of ourselves. And is it is that isolation and us not being able to know in our soul that we're not able to interact and experiencing things uh, equally with other people in this world that I think a lot of pain can come from. Or just being separated. Like, let's say we want to go get drinks or have dinner. We all know that eventually we have to sleep. And unless we all sleep in the same place, 
And it's not really all that easy because we have to go do jobs to get the money to pay for the rent to where we're sleeping the next day. That's the idea of a family reunion, right? A family reunion really can't last longer than one or two weeks because everybody's got bills. <laughs> and then psh, you got to separate again. Uh, I think that's a good place to, to, to leave it. That was just a thought and a visualization. And think about it on your own time. God bless the truth is inside you.